gathering in memory of General Slobodan Praljak, who had committed suicide in The Hague, was held at Zagreb's Vatroslav Lysinski concert hall starting at noon and organized by the Association of Retired Croatian Generals. A church service in memory of Praljak will be held at 3 this afternoon at Zagreb's Holy Mother of Freedom Church. Special traffic regulations and stepped-up police presence are to be in effect until the two events are brought to a close. President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic has temporarily moved her office to the Bielovar and Bilogora county, another attempt at highlighting the need for improved and even development of the whole country, something she's been doing since the start of her mandate. Speaking to those gathered in Bielovar, the president said, among other things, that it was high time to stop just talking about investment and creating new jobs and to actually implement measures that will make this happen. During her tour of the area, Grabar Kitarovic will be focusing on issues related to the economy and agriculture in the county. A conference on the benefits and costs of the introduction of the euro, a process that Croatia had recently announced, is being held at the Central Bank in Zagreb with representatives of Slovakia and Slovenia, countries that have already undergone the process speaking about their experiences. While the central bank governor Boris Vujic is claiming that the introduction of the euro would eventually secure Croatia a cut in interest rates, Maruška Vizek from the Economy Institute in Zagreb is saying that she is skeptical about the ability of Croatia to introduce the euro, as looking into the past, Croatia has failed to enjoy five continued years of public debt cutting in its 27-year history. The state salvage Agrocore concerns suppliers are preparing for the second round of restructuring of the company. They met in Zagreb earlier today in order to debate their representative at the Permanent Creditors Council, as well as discuss the ways how to best protect their interests. In sports, in Croatian Football League action, yesterday Lokomotiva was defeated at home by Hajduk 2-0, while defending champs Rijeka defeated Slaven Belupo also 2-0. Dinamo is currently topping the leaderboard, 47 points, trailed by Osijek with 35, and Hajduk, which has the same number of points. And the Croatian water polo squad has gathered prior to a friendly against the Spaniards, which will be played in Sisak at 6.45 this evening. And now for the weather, it will be moderately to prevalently cloudy in most parts of the country this afternoon with possible passing rain, particularly along the coast. It will be blustery with gale force gusts of southwesterly wind. Strong southeasterly winds along the coast with the north seeing southerly and southwesterly winds see choppy and very choppy and visibility reduced in places due to rain. Afternoon temperatures mostly between 10 and 16 degrees. Changeably and prevalently cloudy inland in the coming days with rain in places Wednesday to see a drop in temperatures with sleet and snow at high elevations. Moderate to strong southwesterly winds, while on Wednesday there will be northerly and northeasterly winds. It will be changeable and unsettled with intermittent rain in places along the coast, which will be heavy in the north on Tuesday and in the south on Wednesday. Moderate due to strong southeasterly and southwesterly winds expected. Thank you.